Hello, everybody, and welcome to this uh, live podcast from Chicken and Pickle in North Kansas City. I'm Jason Lamb, along with Gary Carl over here, Austin McKee right here, and uh, we are here for the Missouri Coaches Caravan. It's uh, scheduled to come through Kansas City here tonight. We're expecting some Missouri uh, head coaches and the athletic director, uh, Jim Sturk, to join the Mizzou alums and the Tiger faithful here tonight as we uh, get ready for their uh, big party here at Chicken and Pickle. We're kind of above all the fun here uh, uh, here at Chicken and Pickle. Uh, all the pickleballs going on back here behind us and uh, and all the Missouri Tiger fans, the Kansas City Tiger Club, a very active group. Uh, they are all gathering here tonight to hear from their coaches. Conzo Martin, the basketball coach. Uh, Barry Odom, the head football coach, and I believe we may also have the wrestling coach here as well, uh, Brian Smith. So uh, we will hear from all of them, and we'll hope uh, to visit with each one of them as our show progresses here tonight. Uh, again, we are live on the U. The U Studio, U-Click Studios are mobile. We're outside of Hy-Vee Arena here tonight, and uh, we're at Chicken and Pickle, where it looks like... Uh, Oh, we have some overcast skies, but I think the weather is going to hold off, and we're going to be able to get this thing in tonight. So how are you guys doing tonight? Uh, we are doing great. Uh, you know, again, it's it's an honor to be here to help kind of cover this event and see some of the MU faithful come out and, you know, support their program and meet some of their head coaches and, and have a nice nice dinner out here. And the weather is going to hold off. You're absolutely right. I think so, too. The weather's going to hold off. Everything's going to be fine. The event's going to be good. Uh, I'm excited to talk to Coach Odom about what he thinks about Kelly Bryant. Uh, that's what I'm pumped about. I'm pumped to see him. Uh, he looked really, really good in the spring game, and I'm excited to see uh, just what he thinks he has to offer for the program this year uh, because we all know the SEC is really tough, and uh, so you need that quarterback going into it. So uh, really pumped to talk to him about that. What are the uh, what are the best menu items here at Chicken and Pickle? Have you guys uh, had a chance to to check out uh, what's on the menu? Yeah, uh, I've actually had the wings here. Uh, we did an event here a couple weeks ago with Eight Ten Varsity uh, Sports, and they had some some of the appetizers. Uh, all of them were wonderful. I had the wings this evening before we went on the air, and the wings were absolutely fantastic. Little honey <laughs> barbecue sauce, uh, Kansas City style. So it was. Uh, it was a great deal, and uh, the wings were very taste, tasty and, and filling me up. Well, ke- what keto flavor friendly. were they? Yeah, keto friendly. A little <laughs> honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. And how yeah. about you? I went flat burger. Flat burger. You got the lettuce, got the tomatoes, you got the pickle, you got all that stuff on there. You got the fries. Uh, the food here is, like I said, we, we came here for the A10 Varsity uh, deal that we had, uh, and then came here, got the burger. It's awesome, it tasted really great. Uh, so uh, chicken and pickles always been great every time we've been here. So it's it's great to be here. <laughs> the pre podcast meal. I didn't get in on that. I'm uh, hoping to maybe dive in on some of that grub uh, when we're when we're finished here tonight. But again, we're live at Chicken and Pickle, where the uh, the Kansas City Tiger Club is awaiting the arrival of the head coaches uh, and hear what they have to say about their programs. Uh, the Tiger Club very active here in Kansas City. Uh, always uh, very faithful. Always with a, 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 a strong showing at each of their events, and we're seeing that here tonight. How about pickleball? You guys pickleball players? Uh, you know, I, I have never played. We, we have watched some pickleball. Like I said, last time we were here, uh, we did watch a, a little bit of that. Uh, when we were down in Florida a couple years ago on a, on a vacation, we watched some pickleball. But uh, I, I have never played. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, you know, you made the comment earlier about kind of looks like tennis without the running. <laughs> so, you know, I, as you can tell, I'm not a big runner. So, you know, pickleball looks like it might be right up my alley. Yeah, it looks like it would appeal to me a little bit in the fact that, uh, that there's minimal running. You kind of take it easy. It's, it's not like tennis where it's crazy where you're trying to dive, dive out and try to hit the ball. You're trying to jump and whatever. You, can just, you know, it's kind of, kind of more casual. You can have your food on the side. You can take a bite and then maybe come back out and play a little bit. So, uh, yeah, so it's really cool. They got the courts all set up, so it's, it's really fun out here. Uh, it is so, a great yeah. layout. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. So, I mean, jumping on a pickleball. G- Gary, I'm, I'm going to see you play some pickleball. All right. Hey, maybe uh, maybe later tonight when we get off the air, <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll challenge you to a little pickleball. We'll play, I'll play, we'll play, we'll play, yeah, play a little bit. We'll put something on the line there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if, if you're watching right now, even if you don't have tickets to the 
event here just come on out i mean this is a great environment to kind of hang out in uh like we said there's several pickleball courts downstairs and kind of an outdoor patio if you just want to come out and have a meal and it's a nice evening the weather's good finally no rain so you know we've been dealing with a lot of rain here in kansas city so come on out and uh hang out here at the chicken and pickle yeah, before we go any further, we should probably share our our, uh, our thoughts and uh, and uh, uh, prayers go out to all the people in mid Missouri uh, who were affected by the major thunderstorms and tornadoes, EF three tornado uh, that went through the capital city of Jefferson City last night. Uh, some uh, t- tremendous damage being revealed today by those storms, and and uh, hopefully our guests when they uh, when they arrive here. Uh, We'll have good news uh, regarding, you know, their their families and and uh, and things in the Columbia community. I'm not, I haven't heard of uh, if the Columbia community was affected at all by by the storms or not. But Jeff City took a pretty hard hit. Yeah, uh, I know some guys I talk to, you know, that that do coach over on the Missouri side and are coaching some track right now. The uh, three, four, and five class district track was delayed because of those storms yeah i think uh, the state track meet yeah, as well the state track meet yeah for the district or for the the class three four and five were delayed so you know there is a heavy heavy damage down there and yeah definitely thoughts and prayers with everyone affected by that if i'm not mistaken i i, I saw a tweet earlier that the the state track meet may be m- moved to uh, battle high school uh okay outside of columbia there so uh, I have to double check on that, but uh, sports secondary in nature compared with all the trouble that uh, that everybody's going through in Col- in the uh, mid Missouri area uh, tonight, uh, and hopefully that hasn't uh, had any effect on our guest. Uh, again, as we look forward to the arrival of uh, Barry Odom, Conzo Martin, Brian Smith, and J- uh, Jim Sturk, the athletic director from the University of Missouri, as we are standing by live at Chicken and Pickle, just kind of a Above the party here and hanging out. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll take a little second here. I'll, I'll just talk about you know kind of what we do. We we do a local podcast here. We've been going about a year and a half. Uh, just got a partnership with UClick TV. Did our first show this week. We cover everything from high school sports, you know, to to our opinion on the professional teams in the area. And, you know, I, I, am, I coach football over on the Kansas side at Shawnee Mission East. And, you know, we, we talk a lot about just local high school teams and, and kind of get those, those teams some coverage, have different coaches on our show from time to time and, and get to visit with them about their program and what they're doing. So, yeah, sounds like you two guys go way back. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How long have we been friends? Uh, almost 20 years. I think so. We were telling somebody about that earlier today. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, both grew, we, we kind of kind of grew up together. Well, yeah. in high school, we grew up together and yep. have been friends ever since. So, uh, one day we were just sitting down. We were kind of just talking. We were talking about sub some subject. I don't know what it was. Probably NFL. Yeah. Talking, talking. Oh, I kept going, kept going, and said, "You know what? We should actually we should talk about this. We should we should make a podcast about this. We we talk about it. So we just we started doing it, and a year and a half later, uh, it kind of picked up, and, and and here we are. So, yeah. uh, pretty cool. So." Where was your podcast uh, before? Uh, where could you hear your podcast previously before uh, you click? So we would just share the link. We have it on Spreaker, uh, Spreaker.com. Uh, basically, what we do is we have our Twitter, Midwest Mics. We have our Facebook, Midwest Mics. Uh, we also have our Snapchat, Midwest Mics. We would just share it on there. We would have everybody click the link. Uh, it would take us straight to the show. Uh, and then you could hear about what we talked about for the week. Um, so uh, that's that. And then, and then from then on, we got hooked up with UClick TV. And it's it's been good ever since. So, so is cool. your show set on a on a certain night it's, uh, each week? Yeah, uh, typically it, it will come out on Wednesdays. Uh, that's when the the this week uh, kind of Tuesday night we drop the first video podcast, and then our audio link is always available on Wednesdays. So, okay. video, video starting uh, you know pretty much Tuesday evenings, Wednesday morning, and then uh, by Wednesday evening both the audio and video. Whichever uh, way people want to tune in uh, will be available. And, you know, they can also go to MidwestMikes.com and uh, check us out there. That's got the links to all our social media and the uh, link to the podcast, both video and audio. Okay. Whichever way they would choose to check that out. That sounds good. Yeah, uh, you click Studio set up right inside the new Hy-Vee Arena. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, 
it's really a, a, quite a concept that they have uh, brought to reality. The former Kemper Arena, now uh, High V Arena, with all the uh, multi-purpose courts, uh, the, the second level that's been added to it, the running track. Uh, it's like a, it's almost like a sports mall when you get inside there, and you you have all your different uh, uh, food selections, including long boards. Long boards, one of our sponsors here, uh, with six locations in the Kansas City area, including uh, long boards right inside the new High V Arena. So, uh, once again, we are bringing the UClick Studios live out here to Chicken and Pickle in North Kansas City uh, for the MU Sports Caravan. And while we wait for the coaches, we probably talk about uh, some of the bigger news items of the day uh kind of a slow day uh sports wise with the royals having uh the day off before they uh open a series against the yankees at home this weekend but the biggest news coming out uh yesterday the kansas city was awarded the uh, 2023 nfl draft which is uh pretty amazing when you think about it yeah uh we're really excited about that i mean it's great for the kansas city area and the kansas city metro to host an event like that, I mean, it'll bring a lot of people in. People like to travel and watch the draft. I mean, we saw it on TV with the Nashville hosting the draft this year and just all the people that were lining the streets there of downtown it was amazing. Nashville. Hundreds yeah. of thousands of people. Yeah, just – It'll be so, the same It'll be the same way here because, you know, we have we have really passionate fans here. It'll be, it's going to be the same way. So uh, I think it's really cool to see just – you can see, that, you, know, you know, we know that the Chiefs fans are very passionate – and, you know, sports fans here in general are very passionate. So I think that was also one of the reasons why they stuck to the city. Uh, it's going to be a really cool environment, and, and I'm pretty pumped. I'm, pretty, I'm already planning on being there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. Well, if I'm not there, I'll, I'll be close to there. But I already plan on, I plan on trying to attend that thing. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's just, it's just something, something else that's really cool that's going to happen in KC, and you know we're going to do a really good job here. Yeah, good thing we got several years to prepare for it. Uh, hopefully the airport will be uh, uh, completed by then. And, and I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to stage things. You know, I've been to some big events down there, uh, including uh, one of my all-time favorites every year, the celebration at the station, which is uh, this weekend, on Memorial Day weekend, on Sunday down there uh, when the Kansas City Symphony plays. And, and they get uh, thousands of people down there for a live, free, uh, patriotic concert. You have some street vendors uh, there, and you got your porta potties over there uh, uh i'm just trying to think of uh how how big of a uh, an operation uh it, you know it, it, it it's going to be a huge uh deal to try to bring together all the elements uh you know nashville had the the advantage of having it downtown so they had street you know streets lined with bars and restaurants and such and our location in kansas city very iconic in front of uh in front of of uh, Union Station there, but I wonder how we're going to be able to tie in all some of those other elements like the food and the beverage and and <laughs> and the restrooms and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it'll be really crazy. The good thing they have a lot of time to prepare to get ready for that. Um, but I expect to see. You know, we got a lot of good food trucks actually that that go around like West Border area and stuff. I'm sure they'll all be down there. Um, so I mean, I. I think it's going to go off without a hitch. You know, we've done it. We did a really, really good job with the All Star Game. Mm-hmm. The All Star Game went, went fantastic. It's not the same area, but it's kind of the, you know, as far as magnitude, it's kind of the, kind of the same type of deal. Uh, and so KC did a really good job with that. So I don't see anything going wrong with this one. I think it's going to go awesome. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think our our uh, people that that <clears throat> excuse me organize these events will do a great job with it. But uh, I'm with you, Jason. I, I kind of wonder. You know how are we going to structure it with all these Some people of the coming in? Yeah, and I'm glad somebody smarter than me is trying to figure that out. <laughs> uh, you know, so but I mean it'll be a great event for Kansas City. I love it when we get big events here. I mean I loved it when we had the All Star Game, mm-hmm. the, the the big Royals parade. Uh, you know when we won the World Series a couple years ago, and, and I just love these big events and, and I love attending them and checking them out, being around them and seeing how our city, you know, sheds some positive light nationwide on our on our great city speaking of a positive light patrick mahomes and, and the amount of exposure that he's brought to kansas city does kansas city get awarded the uh the nfl draft if not for uh, what patrick mahomes did here this past year it definitely helps uh, i will say that uh you know uh with kansas city kind of kind of being one of those teams that are that are back in the national spotlight because of what he did and what Andy Reid and his staff have brought to to the team and to the Chiefs, 
So, yeah, it, it definitely helps, uh, you know, get those big events when you have, you know, an extraordinary player, a special player. The things Patrick Mahomes does, there's not.